So here's a story. As you probably gathered, I'm quite fond of jokes, right? No kidding, you think. And, and for various reasons, I mean, they're good stories. I mean, there's a lot of jokes I hear that I would never tell and I don't like, but you know, when you get a good one. And one reason I like it is the same reason as I like folk songs, because a folk song, by the, people are always trying to define what is a folk song. And to my mind, a folk song is a song that's travelled. Even if it's just been written recently, it's travelled. And people sing it. And each person that sings it leaves their mark on it. So when you have four people sing a song, that song has got four people's history in it. You know, because they change it. It travels, you get a song that starts in England, it gets to America, it's kind of changed a bit. The Scottish song ends up in Australia, it's changed a bit to, to make it work locally. And the same thing with jokes. You can tell a joke in southern England on Monday and by Wednesday afternoon it's all over the world getting changed by people, as you know. So, a lot of jokes start off the same way in a pub, you know. Like I'll tell you a couple of jokes actually because I've just remembered another one. Uh, here's the short joke, right? A man goes in a bar, he says to the crowd, did anyone here leave a great Dane tied up to the lamppost outside? And a man at the bar says, yeah, I did, why? He said, I'm afraid it's dead. He says, what, it's dead, what happened to it? He said, my dog just killed it. He said, your dog killed my great, what, dog? what kind of dog have you got? He said, a chihuahua. <laughs> he said, hang on, your chihuahua killed my, how did it do that? He said, I'm not sure, I think it's stuck in its throat. <laughs> 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 anyway, the joke, the joke I was going to tell, right, is a man goes in a bar and the barman says, what can I get you? He says, nothing for me, I've had one drink in my life, I didn't like it, I've never touched a drink since. The barman says, oh really, okay. He said, well, while you're waiting, he said, there's a, there's a patio, a smoking patio out the back, go and have a cigarette. He said, funny you should mention it, I've only had one cigarette in my life as well, I tried it, it made me ill, I didn't like it at all. So, one cigarette was enough, I've never done it since. He said, ah, I see. He said, well, there's the pool table over there. Why don't you have a game of pool? He said, ah, you know, you won't believe this, he said. I've only done that once as well, he said. I tried it. I made such a mess of it. People were laughing at me. I was so embarrassed. I just, I swore I'd never touch a pool cue again. Once was enough. So the barman says, um, so um, you're in a pub, he said. I mean, what, 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 what are you doing here? He said, I'm waiting on my son. He said, ah, I see. Your only son, I assume. <laughs> All right, here's a little song of nostalgia here. I think it's right key. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is right key. Right, it's called Scotland's Glens. I love Scotland's Glens And whatever else we lose Leave us our glens, our glorious glens. Our mountains are grand, Ben Lomond, Ben Nevis too. You can take all these bends, but leave us our glens. Glen Livet, Glen Finnish, Glen Dronach, Glen Grant. Can you do without them? But you must know I can. Put a drop in a glass of Glen Spare, Glen Drotter. It's a perfectly bearable way to take. Take our Highland Shottish, our Bartish grass bays and hills. Make our good Scottish waltz, but leave us our malts. Remove, if you will, our ladies' conveniences and our gentlemen's, but leave us our glens. Glen Fartless, Glen Lochy, Glen Garrick, Glen Fall. I once knew a man who had sampled them all. Glen Yugi, Glen Kinchy, Glen Isla, that's plenty. He looked 65, but in fact he was 20. <laughs> I'd willingly lose our culture or most of it, including that mess called Full Highland Dress, with the whole ethnic bit of Haggis and Hogmanay. I'd gladly dispense, but leave us our Glen. Glen Turret, Glen Scotia, and last week Glen Fine was rare at communion when we ran out of wine. Glen Glossop, Glen Lossy, Glen Dullin, Glen Morangy. I prefer it to Quantro, which I find too orangey. So breeze there a Scot whose views and priorities, when laid on the line, are different from mine. Take our jobs, take our homes, 
Take whatever else she will, wife, family, and friends, but leave us our plans. Plan live it, plan fit it, plan draw it, plan grant. Can you do without them? If you must know I can. Put a drop in a glass of plain spare, plain drotter. It's a perfectly bearable way to take water.